All right, so we are back with a, another uh, new high-tech how-to. Um, so I have the perfect storm machine, and I used to put it in my yard way up here. See in that little corner right there? That's where I used to put it. That means I had to run lights off of these two pillars to project lightning into the graveyard. Well, I wanted it on the roof. And it's on the roof now. Now the lights are up there. You, you see the cord going up there. There are five strobe lights up there um, from Spirit that are on a string, and they look really, really cool. Um, and I will show you a video of that um, when I'm done doing this part. But I always wanted it to not have to be all the way out there because now with the new way that I run, that I walk people through the cemetery, they walk down this pathway and then they come in here. Now you'd think, well, who cares about the lights being behind them? The problem is that's only on Halloween night. The rest of the Halloween season, people walk around in here and then they go back through here and they kind of meander in here and stuff like that and take pictures. All the while those lights are beaming right in their face and they're almost eye level. And so it's kind of annoying and it ruins the illusion. Now, the illusion is supposed to be that these trees are lit up by lightning because lightning, whatever. So, not the helicopter. Helicopter! Gonna ruin my sound. Anyways, so I wanted this, the perfect storm machine to be up here with the MP3 player and the, and the box and then have the cords go up. Well, that would be impossible because I'd have to run cords all along there to get to those two lights right there. And I was like, man, I don't, I don't want to do that. So I thought, okay, what can I do that's wireless? Well, I thought that those speakers, I got these speakers out of the uh, Spirit Dumpster. Uh, last year, they put, these are wireless speakers. Um, they, um, well, they're wireless in the fact that you still have to plug them in, but um, they, uh, yeah, I don't know how they're wireless. It says pair on them, but I haven't gotten them to pair. I think they're wireless with the... Oh, I know what it is. Sorry. So it at Spirit, they had an RF receiver. And you put your phone or whatever on the RF receiver or an MP3 player, and then it would play to each one of these speakers. And they had a couple of them in, in, in the display. Well, they didn't throw away, or they threw it away differently or whatever, the RF receiver. So all I got were these speakers. Well, they have an audio in. So that's fine. But they do pair... Uh, with, I don't know if they pair together. I may have to try that because I have a second one. I may have to try to see if they pair together um, the speakers themselves. Um, but, so I wanted the speaker. It's got a really good subwoofer and it sounds really good out there. You can actually kind of hear it there a little bit. Um, so, I, I was like, well, how am I going to get sound all the way over there with this? Because an MP3 player doesn't have Bluetooth, or at least the one I, I do doesn't have that. Well, those speakers don't have Bluetooth either. It said pair, and that's to pair to the RF receiver, not a, not a Bluetooth. So I thought, okay, what if I connect Bluetooth to one of them? And then I thought, well, wait a minute. If, if I get a Bluetooth MP3 player, you can't have dual audio. You can't have it come out of the audio out and Bluetooth at the same time, especially a cheap MP3 player. I don't even know. I mean, somebody said that on Samsung phones, they can do two different outputs. They can do audio out and Bluetooth at the same time, and I'm sure some high-end PC stuff could do that too. Well, I thought, okay, well, there's got to be a different way to do that. So I typed in Bluetooth transmitter and receiver into Amazon, and it came out with one of these. I, of course, will put the link in the bottom of the um, the description. A lot of them said that they only had a 33-foot radius, um, or, or a distance. This one on the, on the listing did not say 33 feet. It said it was supposed to be like 100 feet. So I don't know how they got this to be 100 feet, but it... I, that distance from this spot here out there is way more than 33 feet, and it connects but it connects only to like this point right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna hang the RF receiver up there on the wall somewhere so that it has a direct line of sight out of these bushes and out of this metal and stuff so that it has nothing nothing in the middle. So right now it's connected, but if I move it over here, it'll actually disconnect. So um, I would say try to keep it 50 feet, uh, under 100 feet um, is gonna be the best. But so what you do is you plug in, you have your splitter you plug in your MP3 player, and you plug in one to the uh, Bluetooth, and you put it on T2, 
TX, which means transmitter. Uh, and then uh, the one out there on the speaker has an R. It says, uh, so it says RX. So you so you plug that one the audio into that into that one and then on the side here it says RX and TX so this one says TX the other one will say RX and so these are transmitting the sound out to that speaker well then the perfect storm machine is right here so with this way you can put your speakers anywhere in your display and run your perfect storm up by your house or under a cover or you know somewhere where it's a little more safer and you don't have to have your light you can put your lights then anywhere you want so um as with the perfect storm machines only get the one that has the audio input that's that that is the 2.0 version the 1.0 does not have it um and look all over um the internet because not a a a Amazon may not be the cheapest price for these and they may not have them. They are at a bunch of different stores. I've gotten I've gotten several of these for other people at different um, websites. Um, Fright Props has had it before. Um, Halloween Express um, has had them before online. There's different Halloween stores online that are only online that have had them. Uh, eBay will have them sometimes. Um, don't pay over sixty dollars for them because they are they are most of the time they're forty to sixty dollars. Um, I think that's a reasonable price for this, anyways. Um, so that is just a way to connect and it was super easy it even gave you instructions that you really didn't need to read but you basically so it so it kind of shows right here where you can plug it in from the tx you can plug it into all different things and that means you're transmitting from these items so you're transmitting from a projector from an mp3 player uh and then you're bluetoothing it to headphones or speakers and then the other way which is over here is the receiver so you're putting it from those items to the bluetooth um, you're receiving the signal. Uh, so this would be the MP3 player going into the, going in and then going out to the Bluetooth. Um, so, but yeah, all you had to do was just put one as TX and one as RX and connect the cords the right way and you are in business. So, um, this would also work for projections. Um, if you had a projection that had audio on board, a lot of the projectors do, you could Bluetooth that to a speaker somewhere else. Um, and not have to use cords. Um, some of the newer projectors have uh, Bluetooth already in, in them, uh, but some of the older ones don't, so you can use this that way. Um, also, you can use this for just regular audio in, in, your, in your haunt or display as well. So um, I think I pretty much explained that pretty well. Um, but here, I'll run out here real fast. It's super hot out today. Portland, 90 degrees in end of September. <laughs> so um, I'm going to try to hide this a little bit better. But there is the receiver right there. Plugs into the back of the speaker. And yeah. So now people can hear it. And this speaker is waterproof as well. But you could use, um, I think the Echo Dots have, um, there's my witch. I'm leaving the ladder over there to fix her later tonight. Um, yeah, that's my new part of my display. Anyways, so, um, I think the, like, the Echo Dots and stuff, I think they have, um, I think they have audio in as well. So you could put one of those out there, even though that had, uh, and, you know, an Echo Dot has Bluetooth. I haven't tried it yet to know if the Bluetooth in the Echo Dot can connect to that little Bluetooth dongle over there. Um, it's something I'll probably try after Halloween to play with it. Um, but yeah, this is a quick, and those things are $13 on Amazon, by the way. Um, so you have to buy two of them. Um, and so that's a cheap way to get audio from non-Bluetooth devices, make them Bluetooth, and put them somewhere else, and split them for this perfect storm machine, so. All right, so the speaker is right there. Of course, it looks better in person, much more brighter. Let's see if I can get back a lot farther. And of course, it's windy tonight too, so that actually kind of makes it look cooler. But, so you can get kind of the scope of the yard. And of course, the wind sound. Sorry about that. So, 
that's what it looks like with the uh, perfect storm along with the speaker. I think what I'm going to do, so the speaker is right there, um, I think what I'm going to do is I've got another one of those speakers and I have another splitter, so I think off of the transmitter I'm going to take the sound from that and split it to the two different um, speakers and I think I'm going to put one over here, um, over in this area here, so um, that I can have two speakers out here. Um, so so that's what it looks like when you use the Bluetooth receivers uh, on a Perfect Storm machine. Like I said, the, the one receiver is right there and the other receiver is right there. So that's a good 50 feet. So um, if you have any questions, comment below. Um, this will also be on Facebook, so you can comment there too. All right, haunt on Bluetooth style. <laughs>